Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time, I welcome you here and I'm glad you could join me. My name is Amira Hall and I am a spirit medium and a quantum energy healer. I'm here to help you raise your vibration, tune into your intuition and manifest a life you love. Today, I am here to share with you my September's channel message for all astrological signs. Thank you to everybody who supports me in this channel. It means so much to me that you're here. And thanks so much for leaving your comments, sharing and subscribing. Today, my guides are so excited and happy to connect with us. And they are, you know, this has been really cool because I've been feeling them as they're excited and it's bubbling up. And they're telling me that their hearts are just over filled with joy and love as they're reconnecting with us here because they're celebrating all the changes that we have been integrating already and for all the changes that we're coming up for. They're also here to acknowledge how far you've come and the dramatic twists and turns that you've made and the releases that you've experienced and the steady stream of unraveling burdens through time they're saying is intersecting timelines not only with your life but other people's lives and this is just creating so much space as we shift these energies and creating new opportunities and openings and awakenings so they said to imagine for a minute that we're dropping oil into a dish of colored water and every time you drop some oil into that dish it alters the previous drops of oil the shapes change perhaps they join some separate so they said to think of that as what's happening now for you in your life the energies are a little bit slippery and they're shifting so much. They're saying that changes are essential and a part of living and evolution. They're also saying that they know that we're resisting and they want, we want to hold on to what's familiar, but that our soul has called upon these welcomed shifts and expansion. Many of you have been feeling like you've been purging your little hearts out. I get that. And maybe some of you even doing that with your closets and, this, and the drawers. You're releasing so much energies and there's been so many changes and some of you are rather weary of all of that and some of you are still really excited for what's to come. But, you know, the t you're releasing ties to past energies that have kept you stuck in that proverbial dish that's limiting. And, sp and Spirit's encouraging us and saying that this is a time to swim in a bigger pond, to explore and experience what's beyond your previous experience. There's been, um, there's a stage being set for us to explore and set sail to new horizons. Some of us are setting sails to new destinations. Maybe you're moving. Maybe you're moving to place in, in your life to where you could have never imagined it would be possible. Some of you are expanding in your careers or in relationships. Maybe you're entertaining yourself in a whole new way and you never thought possible. You know, there's a very clear stretch. It's like they're showing me an open stretch of water and we're setting sail, literally looking for a new horizon and new destinations. Maybe you're literally moving cities. Maybe you're moving country. So with all this expansion, with all of this raising and elevation of our vibration, it's really uplifting and it's inspiring to watch because so many of you are exploring latent, talents and interests maybe you've repressed these these you know lurking desires some of you are discovering new artistic expressions i've been painting my little heart out maybe you like gardening or woodworking so whatever gives your heart comfort or joy or peace what is it for yourself because spirit's asking you to give yourself permission to explore that with a childlike wonder with some curiosity maybe take it to a whole new level but some of you are like Mexican jumping beans trapped in a can, or maybe you're like a fly that's trapped in a jar and you're just maybe buzzing and you're not sure which, where to go. Maybe you're being too active. Maybe you're running around like a chicken without your, your head. Maybe it's feeling so awkward. Maybe you're feeling distorted or trapped. You know, maybe it's feeling just lopsided. Well, there's a whole readjustment that's really taking shape right now. And some of it can feel a bit awkward. Some of us want to go and take action, but it's not quite time. 
So you're not quite sure on whether or not to trust what you're feeling because it is so awkward or even how to identify it. I know a lot of you that are reaching out to me, you're, you're, you've been expressing that. Spirit's saying, get some exercise, eat healthy, get plenty of sleep, you know, watch funny movies, you know, meditate. Yeah, meditate is very, very important to disconnect, to clear your energy channels, clear your mind and your thoughts, releasing those fears and those panics, slowing down a wee bit so you can smooth out the rough edges so that you can clearly listen to that inner voice that's speaking to you what your next step is. Clearing so that you can step out into the world and make a whole big difference. So for some of you that you need help, you know, the link for private sessions is in the description box below because the winds of change are continuing to blow. We're developing, some of you are developing a resistance. Some of you are developing more flexibility and your ability to be in that flow. And that's the desired goal to allow yourself to tap into that unseen world. So consider, you know, that very nature of the universe is change and it is energy and it's always changing. These are times for us to learn how to consciously direct and shift those energies that will affect how you experience your life and all your creations. You are awakening to how you create. So it's ultimately so important to be clear, to be flexible, and non-resistant body, mind, and spirit. You know, to learn about the nature of creation is what this is all about. How are you creating? And you're being nudged to release what's not working anymore. Anything that does not work with these new levels of energy, you're asked to step aside from that and release it. And so for some of you that feels natural, some of it not so much. So let's just say here, that you're not aware of how these energies may be no longer supporting you and resisting them is stopping your flow and anger and fear or any pain blocks your ability to have joy and abundance. It comes down to that, which is what you want to flow in, right? So if you're running around, my guides are saying to stop, you know, get still, get quiet nurture yourself, clear your mind, clear your energy field. Using the quantum energy to, are great to help you with that. Get the support with a private session and get your energy cleared. You know, this is the very nature of energy and the universe. And we are challenged because this is a big one. This is really big that what's over the next few months, you know, constant change and you don't want to keep those blocks in place. You want to be able to release those and be fluid and be in the flow. Be like water. Allow. And allow the laws of the universe, the law of attraction, to support you in this evolutionary flow and to be sparkling and alive with joy and abundance. So getting on that path of discovering, you know, who you really are, this is a time like never before and stepping into a fuller 5D version of yourself that's high color, high definition color. So with that all said, whew, um, I want to, you know, read to you uh, an extended message here from my soul wisdom cards and card number one, you know, this is so poignant. My attention's drawn to this woman on the side who's smoking. You know, old habits are keeping some of us stuck. And that scarecrow-like statue that parts of us are frozen. This truck refers to our body or our vehicle. You know, maybe it's rusty. Maybe it's been sitting on the sidelines and forgotten as time passes. That grave marker on top there refer, you know, is falling over old parts of ourselves dying. Perhaps people are leaving your life. Maybe they're leaving the body. There's a lot of ways to think about how we're challenged to release here. And that setting sun marks the end of these destructive habits and limits. That loving couple tells me that parts of ourselves are coming together. There's this integration time of the feminine and the masculine parts of ourself, body, mind, and spirit coming together in balance and integration. And then there's that glaring and obvious elephant that's coming into the room showing us these giant shifts are on their way and you know it. <laughs> oh, and card number two. 
you know, I'm really drawn to the waterfall in the background. It jumps out to me reminding us to get into that flow. And the women in the foreground, you know, they're looking at this memory book, reminiscing of past time. Perhaps they're reflecting on how much has changed, all the changes they've made, where they're at now and where they've been. Maybe you're reviewing what worked or what hasn't worked for you, but no longer is appropriate. Maybe you're learning lessons from the past or how they've kept you stuck, where you, how far you've come. Maybe you're looking at new instructions or taking new steps for what's next. Or perhaps this is a guidebook and new ways of being or new ways of looking at your dreams or maybe your dreams are all being new, or new formulated. Okay, again, there's a sense of this soul partnership, getting support, a union, you know, within ourselves and with those around us. You know, these women are perched on the edge of this lush, lush uh, mountainside, reaching new heights, reaching new levels of awareness and reconnecting with nature. The small dog, you know, he's enjoying the simple pleasures. He's quietly guarding something that he has value to. Um, perhaps he's, you know, proud of exactly all the things he does have. Notice the diamonds and the amethyst up in the far left corner and the aspects, many facets to these dimensions and changes, lots of adjustments. Crystals are powerful therapies that may be calling to you and they're reminding us to go within to access the answers there all within ourselves. And clearing out negative thoughts and emotions and attachments, we're being guided to clear our minds, clear and continue to reach for new depths of emotion and greater depths of awareness of ourselves. Having the sparkling version, version of ourself, that aura, will reflect and draw to us all the things that we want in our life. But that's important. Having a clear energy field helps us to stay in that flow. It all helps us allow. It helps the law of attraction work for us and bring all those dreams and desires in forefront for you to have. So if this message resonates, please give it a thumbs up and leave me your comments below. I love hearing from you. Thanks again so much for your support and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss an upcoming video. And if you have any questions about where you're going or where you're headed or changes and shifts that you need to make, go ahead and send me a message at amira at amirahall.com. I'll look forward to seeing you. Have a magical month of September and I'll see you in my next video. Uh, Amira, really, uh, some amazing things are happening. Like uh, I've never closed, I've never ever closed uh, a, such a big deal that uh, I just managed to close up, and that really brought a lot of my problems, like my dad and all this thing, to such a level where where it's not that serious as it used to be. Well, it is a bit uh, cranked up now, but it's not as serious as it used to be, and uh, really like. Uh, the work that I do has got stronger. I mean, like, results have become faster on people. And sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, but my clients are seeing bigger results than I see on myself. I'm like, what the hell? Like, I've worked on them and they're happier than I am. Well, is this, is this something crazy thing happening? But anyway, God bless their souls as well. So really great things are happening and... Um, I mean, like, I, I really, really, I'm, I'm really grateful. And I uh, seriously, when I hired you, I mean, like, when I was uh, spending the money, now I actually played blind. I played a big rule. Like, I, all I had was the tower two thousand. I said, I'm going to take this risk and see what's going to happen. And it just multi-folded and just rushed into my life. And it's really amazing. Thank you so much. It's really amazing.